I'm still wrapping my head around this whole sickle cell diagnosis. I've had pain off and on for years, but now it makes sense. I understand it's a lot to take in. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic blood disorder. Normally, red blood cells are round and flexible, which helps them move easily through the blood vessels. But with sickle cells, the red blood cells become shaped like crescents. These cells are stiff and sticky, and they can block blood flow. So that's what causes the pain? Yes, those blockages can lead to sudden episodes of pain called sickle cell crisis, often in the chest, joints, or abdomen. Symptoms of sickle cell anemia can be seen at different stages of the disease. They include feeling tired with no energy, feeling faint and dizzy, looking pale, pale skin, shortness of breath, headaches, faster heart rate, cold hands or feet, lack of concentration, slow growth, delayed puberty, and heart failure. Makes sense now. Why I was always tired and had weird pain flare-ups? Right, and now we know what's going on. We can manage it better. The treatment of anemia depends on how severe it is. It can include folic acid supplements to help the body make new red blood cells. It can be useful if you have restricted diets such as vegetarian or vegan diet. Blood transfusions. If anemia is severe, it can help add normal red blood cells to the blood. Hydroxycarbamide. This medicine stops red blood cells from changing to sickle shape. Anemia caused by sickle cell disease is not the same as iron deficiency anemia and is not caused by having too little iron in your body. Do not take iron supplements without speaking to your doctor. Extra iron in your body can damage your organs. I've heard about that, so I might be on meds long term? Yes, but lifestyle choices make a huge difference too. Self-care is key. Stay hydrated to help prevent sickle cell crisis. Avoid extreme temperatures. Get regular checks up and vaccinations to prevent infections. Manage stress and get plenty of rest. And don't skip folic acid or other supplements if your doctor prescribes them. So it's about managing the disease, not just treating flare-ups. Yes, the goal is to prevent complications before they happen. You are not alone. That was so helpful. Follow Selene the nurse to learn more about your health.